Of course, folks, so welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be providing you guys with a brick store guide. And I'll be getting a lot of questions and comments on some of my latest Brickling store vlogs, saying that brick store can be relatively confusing. Do you mind making a guide? Especially, this is for a lot of people that are starting a Brickling store or are looking to start one and can find brick store confusing. So, I hope this guide can help as many people as possible. I'm going to go over the main process and aspects of adding pieces onto brick store and transferring them on to your bricklink store so let's get straight into it guys all right guys so the first step i would recommend doing once you have downloaded brick store is link your bricklink store to brick store and once you've done that you'll be able to transfer all of that data you already have on your bricklink store such as remarks prices quantity and this will help you a lot when you're adding sets and new pieces and already pieces you have in your store on to bricklink so once you have done that you can go on to extras and settings and you can go on bricklink and see if you are logged in there's my bricklink login right there and once you can do that you can transfer all of the data so we're going to import my bricklink store right here and as you can see all of the pieces i have in my store you've got all of it right down here loads of pieces from my minifigures to my random pieces my paper bags all of that stuff and as you can see they all have the quantity the price and their remarks so that is the first step i would recommend doing is linking your bricklink store to brick store okay guys so you have now transferred all of that data from your bricklink store on to brick store so now what you can do is as you can see right here we have one open document and that is your store file and what we're going to do is create a new file for our set so as you can see right here there is a page and you want to click the one with the arrow going left and this will allow you to add a bricklink set inventory and part it out to add on to brick store so you want to click that and you can choose from any set, any part, any minifigure. You just have to type it up right here and you'll be able to find it and part it out. We're going to be going with the London bus for today's vlog for the example. And you can change the quantity down here. We're going to go with, you know, let's go with, go with three. And you can change the condition of the pieces. You can go with either new or used. You can choose whether you have the extra parts separate to remove them or include them. I usually have them all on extra so I make sure I know and I also can change whether to include the instructions, the original box, the alternates and the counterparts. I usually always have counterparts off because I don't really like to keep the counterparts together. I usually like to part them out and um, then I just have the instructions, the original box and the alternates and you can choose if a minifigure is in a set you can choose whether to part out the minifigures as well so we're going to import that right there and as you can see we have all of the pieces with the extra pieces included on to brick store okay guys so we have now made a parted out bricklink set file for brick store so this is very good and once we have done that we now want to know the pieces that already have remarks in our store. So we're gonna be needing that open document right here for our store. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is depending on whether you are on Windows or iMac, you wanna either press Control and A or Command and A. And once you press that, it will allow you to highlight all of the pieces in brick store on this file which is very handy and you'll need to do this for finding out the values for all the pieces and all of the data so once we've got all the pieces highlighted we want to go over to edit and go to copy values from document and once you click that as you can see we want to be transferring that data from our store and once we click next these are the settings that I use. You can, of course, change them depending on your desire, but these are the settings that I use and you are free to copy them. And once I click finish, this will transfer the data for all the pieces that I already have in my Bricklink store. All right, guys, so we have now transferred that data from that store file, as you can see right here, onto this Brick Store set file right here. And the next step we're gonna be doing is removing these extra parts and consolidating them into the lots that we already have, like up here, for example. And what we're gonna do is keep it highlighted, and then we're gonna go on to edit, and consolidate items and this is going to be very key especially if you're going to be uh, consolidating all the extra parts and keeping them together 
Um, these are the settings that I use. I would recommend using these settings. But of course, like I said earlier, you can of course change them to your desire. And then once I click finish, it will now remove all of those extra parts and consolidate the lots all into one file. All right, guys. So now we have the very, very fun aspect of putting out sets. You've got the pieces, you put them into their drawers and add the remarks on to brick store. So what I'm going to do is take a quick break and fill in all of these pieces that don't have remarks and give them remarks just so I can then upload this file on to Bricklink. And then once you've done that, I will catch up with you guys then and we'll sort out the pricing. All right, guys, so I am now back. I've given all the pieces that didn't already have remarks some remarks, and I've just given them some random draw numbers because I'm not going to be uploading this file of pieces into my Bricklink store inventory. However, hopefully, you guys have been adding your pieces into their drawers and giving them their remarks and putting them onto the Brick store file. So now, what you want to do with the pricing, the first step I would recommend doing is setting your default currency. So the default currency will always then be that currency when you open up brick store and all the pieces will always be in that currency so for me my default currency is gbp great british pound because i am from the uk however if you do want to change your default currency you want to go to extras settings and on general you will be able to change your default currency to whatever currency you prefer depending on where you are from so i'd highly recommend setting your default currency and then we'll move on to giving the pieces all of their prices. Okay guys, so hopefully you have now set your default currency and now we are going to get the prices for all the pieces in this brick store file. So what we're gonna do now is like we did earlier, highlight all of the pieces. So either control A or command A, control A, and we have now got all of the pieces highlighted. And now what we wanna do is go to this tab right here and click on the logo with the dollar sign and the Bricklink logo in front of it. And it says set price to guide. Once you click that, you'll be able to choose the price guide which you are taking from the Bricklink website. So for me, the default settings are last six month sales and the average price because it does give a good price guide for those that are looking to buy your Lego pieces. So you can also change it from last six month sales to the current Bricklink inventory or change it from average to minimum, quantity average and maximum. So we're gonna go with the average and the last six month sales, we press okay. And most of the pieces will be then given a price. However, some pieces have not been sold enough to get a average price. So for us, as you can see right here, we have the mini London bus box. So what we're gonna do is give a price ourselves. For me, I'm just gonna put it as one pound. And now we have given all the pieces a price on this brick store file. So guys, now we are at the final stage of adding these pieces on to Bricklink and adding them into our Bricklink store inventory. So now we have all the pieces still highlighted and what we want to do is go over to the top left corner right here saying file. We want to go down to export and then click on Bricklink Mass Upload. And Bricklink Mass Upload will automatically open a window or a tab to Bricklink of your Bricklink store to allow you to upload these pieces, which is very handy. And what this does is it will copy a file link and you can then just paste it into the box. And you wanna click Mass Upload and not Mass Update. So make sure to click Mass Upload and I will see you guys once I am on Bricklink. All right, guys, so most of you guys will be familiar who have been watching my Bricklink store vlogs with this page and this full process because I do show it off in my vlogs. However, I am going to show it you guys in this guide today. So this is the tab and the page which is opened on Bricklink once you click the Bricklink mass upload on Brick Store. And now we have copied that file into our clipboard and we are going to paste it into this top box right here. Do not copy and paste it into the bottom one right here only the top one and now you have some settings on the left side right here you can obviously change them depending on your desire but uh, my default ones are consolidate lots by using new price and new tier pricing and new remarks so then this is all ready to be uploaded onto Breckling and what this will do is update the prices for pieces already in my store as well as the remarks so what we want to do is click verify file and then as you can see, we now have all the pieces with their remarks and their prices 
all ready to be uploaded into the Bricklink store. And as you can see at the bottom, we have how many pieces we are adding, how many unique lots in this set that we are adding, and of course, the price for the total price for all the pieces we are adding. And I would click upload file, but I'm not actually parting out three mini London bus sets. However, if you do click upload file and it will come up with file successfully processed, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen right now. You know this process has fully worked and all those pieces are now in your store inventory. So I hope this has helped you guys with Brick Store. I've made it less confusing and let's roll to the outro. Of course, folks, so hopefully this brick store guide has helped a handful of people that were finding brick store confusing. And let me know in the comment section below any other tips or tricks that people would help find useful for brick store. And I can make an updated guide in the future on my channel. And of course, I can't thank you guys enough for the recent support on my YouTube channel. It has been amazing. We are growing so quick. We are almost at 700 subscribers, which is just amazing. I can't wait to keep bringing you guys on this journey with me. It truly means the world to me. And we're gonna keep expanding the Bricklink store. And uh, this weekend, I am going to be uploading a Bricklink store vlog, hopefully on the Sunday. And I'm gonna be packing some orders, reaching 8,000 pieces in the store and opening some Disney CMF packets. So of course, please make sure to like, subscribe, Comment down below any tips, feedback, tricks with a Bricklink store and Brick store. And of course, turn on that notification bell ready for the next video. So of course, goodbye folks.